Welcome back to Tissue World here in Milan, where we now have the privilege of interviewing one of our next conference speakers who's just finished presenting on the platform at a healthy Q&A sec uh, session that took place there as well. We're about to meet a bit of a legend in the industry, Esco Utella, and I have to say that with a correct Finnish pronunciation. He's the principal of Tissue at Risi from Germany, and he joins us here in Milan now in our studios. Um, how was your presentation, sir? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I mean, actually, I didn't, so I, I, I enjoyed it. So, I mean, I have to say that it was not so easy to do that. So, first of all, so because so I was thinking what to present and I have not so much time. But, I mean, actually, the main message for my, my presentation were a few messages. First of all, so um, the um, tissue business continues to grow by roughly so 3.5% per year in the long term yep. globally. Last year was very strong, so we had uh, almost 1.4 million tons volume growth and almost 4% uh, uh, relative growth rate in the tissue business. The two past years have been very good for, for the global tissue business. And this has been seen also by many investors. Yes. So uh, um, they, there are some investors who are thinking that where to put now the money so we cannot invest in some other areas of the paper business. We have also some other investors who are definitely looking for some, some uh, areas which are growing and when IT business has not really been doing always so well, they are thinking where to put my money. And this issue is steadily growing. Uh, safe invest, uh, safe business. They say uh, when it's very no, let's say very less variation. It means normally also safety for your yes. investments, and that's maybe one of those reasons that we have seen new players coming up, and uh, especially uh, th this activity has been very strong in China. But not only in China, we have some new players like Resolute Forest Products in the United States. And uh, in other regions, we have navigator company here in, in Europe coming into the tissue business and many other um, examples of this. Uh, I was also showing how globally the produ producer positions are changing. Now we have Indonesia and Turkey coming very strongly up in, in, on the top 10 producer list in, in, uh, in the world. So in the past 10 years. And I think this may be continuing so that we will see more and more investments concentrating in the emer emerging countries. Asia is still having a huge potential. We, uh, I expect that a lot will happen in Asia in the future. We have still potential in Latin America, which is uh, now in, uh, has been a little bit uh, de depressed by the Brazilian recession. But I mean, when Re Brazil is recovering, something will happen there yes. certainly as well. And those trade flows, what was my second topic, actually we, I was showing that how they, they have been changing recently and uh, mainly parent role trade is the main business. Uh, there Indonesia has taken the number one position so in a few years and uh, it looks like now that this will be continuing as we see the investment policy of some companies there, especially APP, so that still eight more machines coming to Indonesia. So for half a million tons of capacity at least, if, if not a little bit more. I mean, where this is all being sold, this means that this, might, this tissue must move out, outside from Indonesia somewhere where to sell. I think that's, that's maybe not so easy to sell because, yes. because the world is so full, full of tissue, many regions. So, the, um, it well, may then, be I guess delayed, increasing globalization means not only new companies but new markets as well, Esco. Yeah, it is true. So in the recent years I see that if the tissue business is growing 3.5% um, per, per year, so consumption and production as a total. So we have seen in the past uh, four or five years um, total tissue trade growing by 5 to 6% and parent role trade 9 to 10% per year. And that's good money or good that's in good anybody's yes, markets. Yes, that's and fantastic. I mean, let's say so that we have seen something like 200,000 tons more parent roll trade per year in the, in the past few years. Wow. Every year, year, year. So we are now more than 3 million tons of parent rolls moving so around the world. So, I mean, this business seems to be something which is possible and also the, the transport cost or logistic cost for, uh, for parent rolls is, uh, is uh, more acceptable than converted products. However, I was showing also slides uh, showing that how much converted products imports in, in the United States have grown, which is a little bit 
surprising issue. How can converted products from China move in any economic way to US? And I mean, I, I was not able to answer the question because I don't know the figures. Maybe Donald Trump will yeah. answer that maybe, question maybe, for us. Yeah, maybe it's, it is just the question of that selling the overcapacities in, in, in United States. What be. is the price? I don't know whether it is profitable or not. So in a summary, uh, Tissue World itself, as the conference here in Milan for the first time, you're no stranger to the Tissue World events around the world. How important is it that we held Tissue World here in Milan this year? Yeah, I think that we have, th we have had this uh, event uh, since 1993, and I have, I have been speaking in this Tissue World Europe, so every time except 1997 when I was, uh, I was traveling in some, somewhere else, I was not visiting either, so yes. because I had some other business doing. Yes. I mean, uh, that's why I have seen how this has been developing. There has been a little bit ups, uh, more normally going up, but there has been some downs as well. So we had maybe maybe Barcelona was not very good move. So once because there was some resistance from some companies and and also we uh, now how you see this here in Milan, I think my first impressions is, is pretty positive. So uh, now it is the first day and I have not had uh, possibly to see too much, but I think that the, what I have already seen is, is rather positive. We had uh, uh, more than 350 registered um, conference delegates. Uh, so, I mean, I think these are positive signs uh, for me that, uh, that this event will be very successful. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. A pleasure uh, to have you with us in the studio. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.